One of the main warning messages that people experience when using OBS Studio is that their encoding has been overloaded. And what this means very basically is that you are trying to send too much information through your encoder on your computer and it can't handle the amount of information you're trying to send. Now your encoder is usually set to one part of your computer. It's normally either your graphics card or your processor. And when this warning message comes up, it essentially means you are overworking it and it cannot handle the workload. So there are a few things that you might want to change in your settings to make sure that this doesn't happen again. If we go to settings in the bottom right hand corner here, or we can go to file and settings in the top left. The first thing you might want to do is go to the video tab on the left hand side right here. And you might want to downscale your output. Now, when you are streaming, you have a base resolution, which is your hopefully your PC resolution, and an output resolution, which is what your viewers are going to be able to view your video at. So at the moment, my computer is uh, showing me, it's displaying everything at 1080p, but when I stream, it's showing it to my viewers at 720p, it's downscaling that resolution. If you downscale your resolution, it means that there is less information needing to be sent through your encoder. So actually downscaling can save your encoder load a ton of work and actually help you to avoid these issues in the future. So usually uh, a lot of people will stream at 1080, 1080. So my base canvas resolution is 1080, my output is 1080. If this is the case, think about downscaling this, ca uh, this scaled resolution to 720. Always make sure as well that you're using the bi-cubic downscale filter. It's the most reliable, the most stable as well. Another thing you can do to reduce the amount of information that is being encoded is to reduce your FPS value. Now, OBS Studio is only capable at the moment of, well, only really capable, stably, of streaming at 60 FPS. And that can still be a lot for some people's systems. It is industry acceptable to stream at 30 fps so if you want to downscale that 60 fps to 30 fps do that and it will save your computer a ton of workload and to be honest just by downscaling to 720 and 30 you should have already resolved your issue however there are a few other things that you can change to make sure this doesn't happen again if we go to the output tab on the left here this is where you choose what encoder you want to use on your PC or, or your Mac or whatever you're using. Now, if I go to the streaming subtitle menu here, if you're in advanced, it's in a similar area as well. Go to streaming and then go to encoder and you will see I've got two options here. I've got software times 264 and hardware NVENC. Software times 264 is your system's processor. Uh, so that could be like a Ryzen 5, an i5, an i7, something like that, your computer's processor. Whereas hardware NVENC is your GPU. This is your graphics card. So if you are experiencing encoding issues and it's on hardware NVENC, this means that your graphics card cannot handle all of this processed information at the same time. So you might want to consider switching this to your CPU and see if that makes a difference. Similarly, if you're already on software times 264, this means that your computer's processor cannot handle the information. So you might want to switch this over to hardware NVENC, to your GPU, and see if that makes any changes also. This is usually a, a fix, a good fix, if the previous one didn't work. So hopefully that will help you on the way to removing those encoder issues. Uh, a couple of other things that you can do of course, is to check your sources. Now, I don't have any sources in here at the moment, but if you do have a large list of sources, chances are, or if you're having encoding issues, chances are one of them might be a little bit bugged or a little bit crashed or just trying to use up too much information on your system. What you can do is try adding and removing different sources to see if that makes any difference to your stream quality and stream stability. For example, the Logitech C920 webcam is known to cause huge issues. For some reason, the coding in it is, is just completely messed up. And if you run it at the full 1080p resolution, it can overload your stream load. So try removing individual sources to see if that makes a difference too.
Other than that, you might need to check your computer's hardware. If your GPU or CPU are being overloaded, but there's nothing wrong inside OBS Studio, it could unfortunately mean that you need an upgrade on your system, whether that's a more powerful processor or a more powerful graphics card. Unfortunately, the truth of streaming is that if you are gaming and streaming on the same PC, it can cause huge workload for your encoders for your processor and graphics card and it cannot be done by the most basic of equipment so you do need to have hardware that is capable of running these processes hopefully the fixes that i showed to you have got you through and have fixed your encoding issues best of luck with your streaming and may the encoding overloaded message never come again